Welcome everyone, friends and family who have traveled to be with Kylie and David today. We thank you for being here to share this special day. We've asked again, just a reminder that no pictures or videos be taken um, or Kylie will beat you up. <laughs> um, those are her words. She texted me and told me, don't let anybody take pictures or I'm going to beat them up. I'd like to start by uh, offering a, a couple readings, one from Corinthians. Um, and it goes, love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs, love does not delight in the evil, but rejoices with the truth, it always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. And now, if you could all bow your heads, I'd like to lead you in a prayer. Heavenly Father, I pray that David and Kylie may have a true understanding, love for each other. Grant them both with faith and trust. Give them the grace to live with each other in peace and harmony. May they always bear, always bear with another's weakness and grow from each other's strengths. Help them to forgive one another's failings and grant them patience kindness, cheerfulness, and the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ by placing the well-being of one another ahead of self. May the love that brought them together grow and mature with each passing year. Bring them both ever closer to you through their love for each other. Let their love grow to perfection. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Okay. <laughs> How are you feeling? Good. You good? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, love is the force that brings us all here today. In fact, love is the force behind much of what we do every day. Whether it's making a meal for our family, taking time to teach our children, or lending a listening ear to a friend, even in the boring commonplace routines, love is always the reason. We are all here to support Kylie and David on their first day as husband and wife. As you go into married life, remember the reason. The reason you get up each morning, get ready, and do your best in the world, and look forward to coming home. Remember the reason you sacrifice, the reason you give, and the reason that you laugh, the reason you are officially becoming family, finally. <laughs> <laughs> Kylie, let David represent love, and David, let Kylie represent love. This mutual love stays strong as long as you both invest in and cherish it. This love is alive. It is active, dynamic, and powerful. Cling to it during good times and bad. All marriages have ups and downs. If you make it a habit of returning to your, your reason, you will find the strength to choose each other in every moment, in every place, at all times. A strong, lasting marriage is built on love, trust, and respect. Oh, okay. <laughs> to truly love, you must both enter your life together with vulnerability. To truly trust, 
you must in good faith allow for freedom and autonomy. To truly respect, you must consciously treat your partner with reverence. Kylie and David, cherish one another. Never stop doing the small things that build respect and trust. Hold doors, write notes, listen and strive to understand. Let kindness and tenderness be the rule and not the exception. Remember that you're both on the same team. Together, you will fight demons, defeat enemies, build a life, and forge a bond that is stronger than the sum of all of its parts. Now it's time for your vows. <laughs> I'm hand these both to you. That they have both written their own vows that they will read to each other. Do you want me to go first? <laughs> Unless go first. you want me to go first. I'll, I'll go first. Go. Okay. All right. One second. <laughs> Who would have thought that random night in Palm Springs would lead us to this moment standing in front of my best friend? <laughs> my protector, shoulder to lean on, my person to laugh and adventure with, to share my life with, my husband. The night we met, you made your first promise to me. After only talking for five hours straight, you looked at me and said, I'll marry you one day. Oh. <laughs> and look where we are now. <laughs> The moment we met, my heart needed you. <laughs> it was like an overwhelming pull, or what I like to think of it now is a push from God saying, here he is, Kylie, this is who I made for you. And I thank him every day for that. <laughs> Not only that he created someone for me, but that he created you specifically. Every detail of you is perfectly and divinely made. Your blue eyes that looked into my heart that night. Your smile that tells me when you're up to no good. <laughs> your blonde hair that I've always dreamed of my children having. Uh, <laughs> your hands that hold mine in times of need and joy. And your arms that embrace me and make me feel safe and at home and could protect me if need be. <laughs> your laugh that is infectious that pairs with your goofiness. <laughs> your drive in life and incredible loyalty to those you love. But I think one thing God spent the most time on is your heart. I have never known someone who loves and loves as deeply as you. When asked, anyone knows, when asked, anyone who knows you would say, David is a good man with a good heart. God wove his love into you so deeply that you shine with love. For me, our cats, strangers, our family, our friends, and your brothers. And I vow to always protect your heart because it's the essence of who you are. And when I look at you, I see everything that we've been through, all the life we've already lived, and I see a true life partner, a husband that will love me through it all, and a father that will shower his children with so much love that they will grow up knowing exactly what they deserve. A husband that will challenge me and grow with me to become the best versions of ourselves that we can be. And marriage is work and it is the most important work of our lives. And I don't mean that as in a nine to five drudgery watching the click tick, clock tick by, <laughs> but as a, as a painter creating something beautifully imperfect or as a songwriter would work on a song, honesty and heart. And just as an artist would cherish these creations, I vow to cherish us and our beautiful, imperfect, perfect life we are to create. I vow to support you and always stand by your side unwavering, to be your guide when you feel lost and to be your steady through all your storms. And I vow to pick you up when you're down. And everyone always says that marriage is 50-50, but I disagree. 
Sometimes life gets the best of us and we will have to step up for each other. So I vow to always be ready to be that 80% when you only have 20. And I vow to be loyal to you and always honest, to tell you the truth even when it's hard. And I vow to always treat you with respect and kindness and love. I vow to love you endlessly forever. And you are a part of me eternally and unconditionally. Beautiful. <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> As important as these vows are to me today, they are not the first. In 2015, <clears throat> as I laid on my bed staring at the ceiling of my hooch overseas, I prayed to God and asked for a chance to be your man. I vowed to him that if he gave me just one chance to be with you, I wouldn't take you for granted and I'd marry you. Here we are eight incredible years later and I couldn't be happier. Kylie, you're everything to me. You are my sunrise, my sunset, and the perfect storm. <laughs> Being with you has undoubtedly made me a better man, and I am forever grateful for that. You are polite, kind, and as sweet as Tennessee honey. I promise to be there for you physically, <laughs> mentally, and emotionally, to be a hand to hold when you're scared, a hug for you when you are sad, and a lift during your greatest achievements. I vow to support you in all life's endeavors, to be your biggest supporter and fan. I vow to grow with you, learn with you, and to build a life with you, one that we can both be proud of. I accept you for who you are now, and I'll love the person you have yet to become. I can't promise that I won't get mad when working on wave runners or guns, <laughs> <laughs> but I'll accept your support and your attempts to calm me. As equals and as soulmates, I promise to lead and to follow your leadership and trust in your judgment when the time permits. I promise to be your best friend, your faithful partner, and your love from this day forward. In the, presen in the presence of God, our family and closest friends, I offer my solemn vow to be your faithful partner in sickness and in health, in good times and bad, and in joy as well as sorrow. I vow to fiercely love you and to be your best or to be my best to be a model husband and future father for our ch children i promise to constantly remind myself that this is a love of a lifetime in the deepest part of my soul i know that no matter what trials that might carry us apart we will always find a way back in each other's arms i'll take you to be my wife in this life as well as the next I promise above all else to protect you, provide for you, and support you in everything you do. I give you my hands, my heart, and my soul as an oasis of peace and pledge my love, devotion, faith, and honor as I join my life with yours. That's it. Very good. <laughs> The kiss oh, part yet? Not <laughs> yet. Hold on there, People cowboy. <laughs> okay, before we do rings, I have a couple questions for you two. I'll start with you, David. David, do you of your own free will take Kylie as your lawful wedded wife to love, protect, and defend as long as you both shall live? Yes, I do. Okay. Kylie, do you take David? Or, I'm sorry. Kylie, do you of your own free will <laughs> Take David as your lawful wedded husband to love, protect, and defend as long as you both shall live? I do. Okay. Now, a question for everybody else. Is there anybody here fool enough to object to this? <laughs> I didn't think so. That's a good thing because while I do not currently have a firearm on me, <laughs> Our Nana taught us how to pull a switch. <laughs> There's a lot of trees around here. Okay, let's do some rings. This one is yours. I think this one. Other way, no, sorry. Other way, sorry. This way, okay, no, sorry. <laughs> okay, and I'll take the boxes back. Drop it. You just drop it. I'll take the boxes back. And I'll just stash them back here for now. Okay, start with David. Do you, David? Vow to place Kylie above all others, before all others, and stand true and unmovable in your support for her through good times and bad, 
Absolutely. Put, I do. Put the ring on. Spit on there. <laughs> Spit on it. <laughs> okay, Kylie, do you vow to place David above all others before all others and stand true and unmovable in support of him in good times and bad? I do. Give him his ring. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. With these public promises and vows and the symbolic exchange of wedding bands, I now pronounce you, by the power vested in me, the Universal Life Church and the state of Tennessee, <laughs> husband and wife, may kiss the bride. Audience, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. David Shellabarger.
you like what you see, folks, put your hands together. for the first time as husband and wife, ladies and gentlemen. Put your hands together for Mr. and Mrs. Sheila Barber. Good evening, and thank you for coming out this evening. On the behalf of all of our families, friends, and loved ones, it's great to see everyone here tonight. I'd like to take this time to tell David and Kylie I love you. We all love you. And we're so proud of you. Before we celebrate David and Kylie's first meal together as husband and wife, Mark 10, 8 tells us, and the two are united as one. David and Kylie, as you join your lives together in this the Lord's perfect timing, he sends you the one other soul who completes you both, creating an everlasting circle of love. From this moment, from this day on, you are blessed. You are complete. You are one. And now if we all bow our heads, please, for the Lord's Prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your grace and strength that has seen David and Kylie to this moment. Thank you for this special day filled with laughter and tears of joy as we celebrate David and Kylie's wedding. Dear Lord, protect and guide them with your almighty power, granting them the everlasting love and happiness and peace. We ask that you be their refuge and fortress in times of joy, times of need and trouble, the one that they can always turn to and rely on. Lord, we trust your path for their lives together will bring your kingdom glory. You're always so faithful to fulfill your promises. Thank you for this time we spend with family, friends, loved ones in the celebration of this beautiful young couple in matrimony. A time we celebrate answered prayers for our son, prayers that David meet and marry his future wife, and that she be a God-loving woman, that they both be loving, sincere, helpful, and supportive to one another. Thank you for this beautiful weather and safe travels to this wedding, and we ask for safe travels home. Bless the men and women of our U.S. military. Without them, none of this would be possible. Lord, please bless this food, the nutrients of our bodies, so it can do thy will. Bless the family beside us and the love between us. We are so thankful and grateful for all you do for us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. box to stay. We watched the sky of blue with white clouds passing by today. One looked like a pancake, 
And there's a dinosaur, that's no mistake I'll remember running right beside you on this date She did for that puddle you just had to navigate Into the sun we will run Up to the sky I know we'll fly Heart so young and yet so wide. There's only love there in my baby's eyes. It seems as though a day ago you first sat on that swing, one there in your grandma's yard, and all the joy that you did bring. Time does fly, and that's no lie. Hearts are torn in two. Listen to me, baby girl. I'll tell you just what we will do. Oh, put your hands together for them folks. Looking awfully, awfully nice for you. Out on the dance floor. I just met you. Seems like yesterday You opened up your eyes And I recognized your face You know that you're the one That we've been waiting for We're gonna keep you safe First time I held you in my arms I knew I'd love you all the way I took you in at night Another day has passed Every week goes by a little faster than the last It wasn't so long ago We walked together and you held my hand But now you're getting too big to want to But I hope you'll always understand That I'm always gonna lift you up And I'm never gonna let you down No matter what you do I'm forever proud of you I love you forever now I hear it Through your eyes I see A world full of magic Full of possibilities You know as well as anybody How tough this life can be But you've got so much strength inside you A strength I pray you'll never need Looking awfully nice for you as well, folks. Put your hands together for them.
nothing called life And I know you watch me grow up And only you want what's best for me And I think I found the answer to your prayers And he is Y'all put your hands together for them as well. Thank you, everyone. First, I want to say thank you for everyone being here. It's been a year of planning on her part and everyone else that's helped her for all of us to come together. I'll try to keep this short and straight, sweet and not cry in the middle of it. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you that don't know me, I'm Lindsay. I'm the proud older sister <laughs> of Kylie that we're here to celebrate. I'm honored to stand here of her matron of honor and share a few words about someone who means absolute world to me. <laughs> As some of you don't know, or probably don't know, when Kylie was born, I was almost a teenager. We never had the typical sister relationship due to our age gap. With the exception of one thing, her stealing my clothes, and she still does. The only difference is I now see them on Facebook or Instagram when she's gone home. <laughs> Or on my, on my mom here in Tennessee. <laughs> Over the years, we've had sleepovers on the nights that Bryce was working. She'd come down and do her homework and have dinner with us when she was at Western. we drink wine, watch Fifty Shades of Grey, and go to bed. <laughs> It's often felt like you've taught me just as much as I've taught you. Your enthusiasm and zest for life has been a constant reminder to embrace every moment with joy and curiosity. You've always had a way of brightening up even the darkest days and your kindness and generosity have touched everyone lucky enough to know you. And then there's David. <laughs> From the moment you entered our lives, it was clear that you were the perfect match for our sister. The way you look at her, support her, and make her happy is nothing short of magical. It's comforting to know that Kylie has found someone who, would not, who will not only lead and guide her through this life, but someone who cherishes and compliments her so beautifully and can now spend your money instead of mine. <laughs> or mom's. <laughs> 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 
together, the boat. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> <laughs> Together, you both radiate happiness and love, and I have every confidence that this marriage will be filled with countless beautiful moments. May your life together be as wonderful and inspiring as the love you share. So let's raise our glasses to Kylie and David. May your love be modern enough to survive the times and old fashioned enough to last forever. Cheers. Okay, okay. So this is actually a surprise speech. I had to uh, squeeze myself in here. Uh, um, I wrote down what I was going to say tonight because I've learned this past week, being around my buddies, I have the tendency of rambling on. Um, so I'm going to try and not do that. I made promises to some people I'm trying to keep. Um, so for everyone that doesn't know me, my name is uh, Patrick Solomon. And this year, uh, right in front of me is not only the most beautiful couple here, but sitting next to Kylie is my brother, my man, that's always had my back through thick and thin, David Schellebarger. <laughs> Let me tell you a little bit about Shell. This man has had my back since the day we met. We were pretty much inseparable. We did everything together, from training through our deployment from running patrols and missions, hitting the gym, eating together, sleeping together. Hell, if I was lucky, every once in a while, we'd get the shower together, too. <laughs> I really wanted to speak tonight, just not from myself, but from all my fellow brothers. <laughs> You've made a significant impact in our lives. I'd be selling myself short if I said that this past week hasn't been the best week of my life. Um, I, like a lot of uh, us that have spent the past week, haven't had the easiest paths after getting out of the Marine Corps. You, uh, David Schellebarger, after almost a decade, rallied the troops together. And I want you to let you know that not a, not a minute has been wasted over this past week being around you and being around all our brothers here. You've helped us remember who we are truly at our core, connecting not only to each other, but connecting to those beautiful parts of our souls I know I personally had forgotten about. It's given me a lot of hope in this life moving forward. Now, trust me when I say this, Kylie, you are such an amazing part of all of this. Shell wouldn't be who he is today if it wasn't for you, you know? And um, I know we haven't spent a ton of time around each other, but I will say that the grace that you had dealing with eight Marines in your house over the past week, <laughs> I would say that you're definitely the one. <laughs> you know, so I've always had a saying with Shell from the beginning till the end, and you already know, to the rest of our brothers, never above you, never below you, always beside you. Oorah, gentlemen. Hello, everyone. Um, I want to start the night off by saying thank you for everyone who's here today to celebrate the bride and the groom. I know you guys traveled really far, um, and I know they just really appreciate it and just love the love and support that you have all brought. So I just wanna say thank you for that. Of you who don't know me, I am Emily. I am David's sister, AKA the best woman. <laughs> and um, to the groomsmen, I'm Dale, so. <laughs> um, yeah, so David, you and I have talked a lot about speeches, and you always told me you didn't want it to be awkward, so I, I wrote you a song. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not talented like you guys. <laughs> I wrote a speech, guys. Um, I'm going to say something weird, um, but I want everybody to just um, close your eyes for a second and just picture this. Um, you're three years old, and you wake up to the sound of your mom saying, I got donuts. 
Um, you run to the kitchen to see your little sister, who is one or two years old, by the way, has beat you to the kitchen table, and to your surprise, you look down, and every donut has a bite taken out of it. <laughs> In pure desperation, you scream at the top of your lungs. Your mom then has to remove every small spot on the donut where your sister's teeth has slightly grazed to satisfy your disappointment. <laughs> or picture this, you're 15 and your little 13-year-old embarrassing sister is coming to school and you have to help her, so you leave early, which is huge for David, because he just doesn't do that, <laughs> and help her get everything in her locker, and then proceed to say, don't talk to me the rest of the day. <laughs> um, these are just two of the many memories or stories I've been told that I can just close my eyes to and picture. So many amazing times from eating his donuts, watching the young Frankenstein in every Adam Sandler movie a million times, um, getting dead-legged for no reason, <laughs> to almost crashing his truck into a cornfield, um, getting kicked out of a hair salon, or even seeing him in his dress blues for the first time. I have always been very proud and blessed to have David as my brother. David and I have always had an interesting bond. If we weren't fighting, we were thick as thieves. Um, we embarrassed each other, but we also needed and leaned on each other as we grew up. He has made me laugh more than anyone in the world, and he has also made me angrier than most people. <laughs> he holds all my childhood memories and secrets. Um, David has always wore his heart on his sleeve. He's been passionate and stood for what he believes in and stood up for those who couldn't themselves. Yes, even his embarrassing donut-eating sister. <laughs> he has always been someone I could look up to and count on through life. If you have him on your side, um, you have a friend for life and someone who will truly look out for you. Even when he is wrong, his heart is usually in the right place. But one of my favorite qualities he holds is when he sets his mind to something, he's doing it. Whether it's becoming a Marine, a musician, or now a nurse, no matter the task, he's willing to go for it. He truly chases his dreams, and I admire that so much. David, I love you <laughs> so much. And um, growing up, um, other kids would complain about their sibling, not me. I've always known I got the best one. <laughs> um, I have always admired you, and I always knew I had the best brother in the world. In so many ways, David, you are my hero. So when you asked me to be your best woman, I truly felt so honored that I could get to stand by you today and watch you make the most important commitment of your life. The first time you told me about Kylie, I didn't know how to feel. <laughs> you seemed so serious about her, and it was really early. <laughs> you even went to visit her in Seattle before our family after your second deployment, which mm, wasn't happy about. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm past it, kind of, but <laughs> I guess it's okay now. Um, I, being the protective sister, had to play it cool, but the moment you guys got off that plane, I was already scouting her out, and let's be honest, I had already Facebook stalked her and um, asked her what her intentions were with you through Facebook, so. <laughs> um, but to my surprise, it didn't take long um, to love you too, Kylie. Kylie. I love you. <laughs> you are one of my best friends now, and you are so loving and kind. Since the day I met you, I've known how much you love David, and that love radiates between the two of you. I love that you both share musical bonds and enjoy small things in life, like cats. <laughs> I remember one of the earlier times I talked to you, I asked how you knew David was the one on your wedding day, and you said that you could just close your eyes and picture him at the end of the aisle, and you had never been able to do that before. And here we are today, and I got to watch you do that, which was amazing. Um, um, I'm so happy I get to call you my sister officially. Um, but let's be real, you've been our sister like for 20 years now, <laughs> because it took you forever, David. <laughs> Um, I can speak for my whole family and say we are so happy to have you um, in our family. And yes. 
You both have already went through so much, and I know that you will do amazing things together. You will continue to grow and have a lasting marriage. Now I want you both to do what I said at the beginning of my speech. I want you to close your eyes, and I want you to picture yourself in rocking chairs, old and gray, laughing together with your cats, <laughs> saying, we made it. <laughs> oh, can't you see it? I can, but at the end of the day, it only matters that you two can, and that is my wish for you. I wish that every time you feel frustrated with each other or are having a bad day to picture that when you close your eyes. At the end of the day, that should be your biggest goal. That is my biggest wish to you, that in the middle of your, ca uh, your chaos, there is peace in knowing your dream together stands. So with that being said, will everyone join me in raising a glass? To the bride and groom, may God bless your marriage and may you never lose sight of your dreams together. Right now. My big brother rode an Indian scout. It was black like his jacket. American spirit hanging out of his mouth. Just like our daddy. He kick-started that bike one night and broke mama's heart He pointed that hill out west Out where the wild things are He'd call me up every couple of weeks From South California Talk about the desert and the Joshua tree His pretty girl story Trailer in a J45 guitar Said a little brother you love it out here Out where the wild things are Y'all put your hands together for them oh, awesome. well, Our bride and groom would like to invite everybody Driving my mind crazy Don't know 